Freddie Wanak, our guest, he was born in Port Moody, British Columbia, and he plans to go to LA, LA one day. Maybe, yeah, we're gonna give it a go. Why yeah. not? Yeah, you know, now's the time. I'm, uh, I'm a free agent, as they say, so... Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I don't think anybody says that in this business, but I'll say it. I'm a, sure. Yeah, free Wait, Dan, the mayor, better. canceled your choice, somebody else's choice, just uh, one day they said, guess what, Dan, you're <laughs> no longer the mayor? Uh, definitely not my choice. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that show. I was, mm -hmm. I was proud of it. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and say it was perfect, but season two I thought was 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 uh, an, was great and getting better. And but uh, no, you know it was just one of those uh, network decisions. The numbers uh, the weren't good enough, and mm -hmm. and so uh, they decided to not pick up the option. So it wasn't so much canceled as it came up time to pick up the option, and they decided. Right, and sometimes they uh, put the uh, sitcom or the drama on at 11 at night or so, you know, off, yeah. off the news, or it's on like yeah, I Sunday mean, at 3 p.m. Well, that's the thing, we, 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 we showed second season Sundays at 7.30 in the summer, so it's a pretty good indi indication you're not mm -hmm. probably in the long term plans of the, the network, so. Back to the film. Yes, yes, yeah, we're better to, talk about happy back things. Back to happier <laughs> things, yeah. uh, uh, French immersion. So, five, one New Yorker and four Canadians, Yeah. right? Go to French immersion school, and one is a politician. Yeah. One's a flight attendant, and one's a, we find out, well, I won't say, but we mm -hmm. think is a, 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 fire, a fire person, and then mm -hmm. a chef from New York, and then myself, a postman. Right, and so you're all there to learn French for different reasons, and if you speak English, something happens. Yeah, you get carded, like in soccer, I guess. You <laughs> like get carded, soccer. and you get, I don't know what happens, it's never made clear what happens uh, if you get too many, but none of us really wanted mm -hmm. to find out. But the idea is that, uh, essentially, the uh, people, the yeah. you, yeah. Anglos, yeah. try to get around it. Like well, of that's course, sort of yeah. one of the threads. You say, okay, I, I so don't understand French and I'm tired of speaking only French and being with it, because you're billeted out, right? Right, you, you get totally immersed with the families. And th this is like, this, this is a, a big business in Quebec, or was, I don't know if it still is, and people will come and you do, the whole town, basically is part of this program and nobody will speak French to you, uh, English to you, you have to speak French everywhere, but they'll, they'll help right. you learn and that's how, I think that's how you have to learn a new language, you get completely immersed you in it. You bet, absolutely. There's a lot of tremblés in the town. Yeah, I think the... All the surnames. The, yeah, the population is uh, 2,000 and 1,999 of them are named Tremblay. <laughs> and the one that isn't is an alcoholic because he can't deal with the pressure of not being called <laughs> Tremblay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell me about uh, the director. Uh, Kevin Ke Tierney. Yeah, Kevin Tierney, uh, who people might not know, but they uh, Bon Cop, Bad Cop. He was a producer, mm. uh, producer of that, and this was his directorial debut. Uh, and uh, he he was he's awesome. I don't know if you ever get a chance to talk to him, but he's a he's a great great guy and full of energy. And and the set was just it was a it was a great time. For you, what makes a good director when you're acting? What do you need from a director? Um, I, I don't know, you know. I, I guess I need. I, I I always show up with how I see it, and if I if if I, what I'm doing is great, then I don't need anything. But mm. if if he if the director if they want something uh, different, I want them to tell me that, and I don't want them to worry about my feelings. I just want to be told, like, look, no, I don't like that. I don't, can you do this? I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, sure, okay. So uh, and Kevin pretty much let us do our first thing thinks more than not were what he wanted and if they weren't he'd come up and say ah you know I kinda want this I'm like okay you know and so it was great and uh, that's what that's what I like I just wanna I just wanna make sure either I'm doing it what how you like it and if I'm not just tell me flat out like uh, well that's what know. your dad would do too I'm thinking because yeah. he seems like a straight talker uh, yeah he's in guy straight talker and he taught you to say look yeah. I can take it yeah both my parents grew up in East End so you know, there was no, there wasn't much BS. It was kind of like, sure, yeah, and things could be said without words. You know, which is yeah. <laughs> would that be the eyebrow trick? Yeah, or, or, or just a stare, or, or a, the married look? Yeah, yeah, kind of like you know, if if we had uh, family over and and me and my brother were getting out of line, you could just get you get a look like that, and yes. you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, time to stop. Okay, yeah, that's we. I grew up with the family look too. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and my dad had at the dinner table. If there'd be a line. We could goof around. Like we, we, it wasn't a strict house. Like believe me. Like we had a lot of fun. <laughs> but there's always a line, and uh, my dad would just he would stop eating. He would look up, and the, the fork would kind of have this certain wag mm. to it that he would waggle <laughs> right. the fork and be like, mm -hmm. okay, that's enough for that. We'll it's get back. the waggle the fork. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I got the look. 
Well, we got that too. <laughs> yeah, and you know it. And yeah. when you get married, are you married? I, I am. Yeah. Okay. So, do you get the married look ever? No, my wife and I are too similar. We both we're both lazy people, so it's it's okay. uh, perfect. Yeah. So you don't get that you're such a fool. Oh no, I get that. Yeah. She oh. doesn't understand my humor. She just thinks I'm kind of silly. She thinks yeah. you're wonderfully, beautifully, and perfect. No, she knows I'm stupid. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> just, she loves me for it. Just which a is fun great. guy. Yeah. Are you funny at home? Uh, she doesn't think so. My kid brother and I have a laugh, like if we're mm -hmm. around. And uh, I think because my my sense of humor isn't. I'm not a very. Uh, I, no, I'm I'm talking like I think I'm stupid. I don't think I'm stupid. But my sense of humor is more underwear humor, like you know, potty mm -hmm. humor, as opposed to the wit. Like uh, I would say, I mean, like Fred boy Potter. humor. Yeah, we might like call a, that boy guy humor. Yeah, so that's my kind of humor, mm -hmm. and but I prefer to be. Uh, have the humor of like a Brent Butter or Mary Walsh who's got the quick wit, you know, that kind of, I'm always amazed by that. Well, just keep practicing. Well, I think that'll happen. Uh, so of all the roles so far, is there one you adored or plan to adore? Is there one you want? Is there a director you'd like to work with? A Woody Allen, uh, a Scorsese? Oh, I would actually love to work with Norman Jewison. Like he oh. would be a dream of mine. Uh, and I w if he could swing it, that I'm in a film with Robert De Niro and he's directing it. You see, that would I know be a Norman. Dream. Should I Do make you? a call? Yes. Hey, yeah, you know, I work cheap. I'm Canadian. You have to like, you have to like cows. <laughs> a cows? Yeah, you know, oh, he has that he, place in oh, Caledon. He? he has these beautiful uh, Herefords. Yeah. And wife and I want to retire on like, a piece See? of property, so it would well, probably work out. I can make the introduction, then you'll have to do the work. I can do the work. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice hey, it was a pleasure, you. yeah. Pleasure, pleasure seeing you. And uh, French Immersion begins, what did I do with my card? It oh. opens tonight. It opens tonight. In Vancouver, yeah. Excellent. Vancouver, uh, and, uh, it's October 14th, says right here. There. Across perfect. Canada. Uh, it's already open back east, and so now we just had to wait because VIF is going on, so they wanted to mm. delay a little bit. How lovely. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fred Iwanek. Thank you, Fanny Keeper. <laughs>